it's getting a little cutthroat. It's getting a little too much like professional bass fishing. And I don't. Now I'm going to be part of the solution and so are you. Hey, what's up everybody? Steve with the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel. And today I'm out at one of my favorite lakes. And today we're just a few days away from the first day of March. And here in Missouri, it's gonna be like 80 degrees. I popped out here with my cup of coffee because I wanted to talk to you guys about something uh, that's on my mind. I don't do a lot of these uh, vlog type videos, but this one's appropriate, I think, and I'll try not to ramble on too much, and I'll try to edit this so that it doesn't seem like ponderous or that it's dragging on forever. So today's Tuesday, and this coming Saturday, I have a fishing tournament in Lake of the Ozarks, and it's my first fishing tournament of the year. It is my first time ever being uh, in Lake of the Ozarks. And I learned a lot last year. So if you don't already know, last year was the first year that I fished kayak fishing tournaments or honestly fishing tournaments of any type, okay? I was never a competitive fisherman. I would just, I fish a lot. I'm blessed by that, uh, having the ability to do that. But I'm a, I'm a fun fisher at heart. And I actually never used to fish for bass. Um, last year was my first year going after bass. I'm totally addicted to him now. Um, but addiction is kind of the point of this video in a weird way. So when the four, uh, fishing tournament season wrapped up last year, um, I found myself deadlocked into this mindset of, okay, we got the first year under our belt, uh, 2024, we're going to, we're going to bring the pain. I'm like, I need this, 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 I need to do this, this, and this. And over the last I don't know, month or so, as the season has grown closer, I've actually found myself withdrawing from it in a weird way. Um, not burnout. I don't know that it's possible to be burnout on fishing. Um, if it is, I don't ever want to. I don't ever want to experience it. Um, but I had to catch myself. Okay, and that brings us to what the point of this video is okay you already saw it in the title we have got to protect kayak fishing you might be wondering what that means and a lot of you watching this may have actually already inferred from your own feelings what that means or what that might mean and i as an angler in general have never been a huge fan of professional bass fishing i'm not into watching Bassmaster. I wasn't into bass. I'm not into the guys ripping all over the lake, you know, at a thousand miles an hour and cutting each other off and being rude. And I'm just not into that whole negative culture that it breeds. And, and if you are, I'm not attacking bass fishing or professional bass fishing. I'm not. I'm not saying that every angler is like that. I'm not saying that every event is like that. I'm saying that there is a negative culture within professional bass fishing that just isn't the way the culture of kayak fishing has always been. So I'm 39 years old. I'll be 40 this year. I started fishing from a kayak about 30 years ago. I want to say I was nine when I got my first kayak and it didn't take long to put my first fishing pole in it. So I've been in kayak fishing for a very long time, despite how young and beautiful I look. There's just a culture about kayak fishing. It's about building each other up. It's about sharing spots. It's about going where the bass boats can't go. It's it's just a whole... Listen, if you're watching this video, you're probably already a kayak fisherman or you're about to become one and you've been consuming just a ton of kayak fishing content. So I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Kayak fishing is just different, but it's in danger, okay? Every year... God, even just in the last year that kayak tournaments have even been on my radar, the growth is just insane, okay? There are a lot 
of incredible anglers out there. So I'll be honest with you, I do not consume a lot of content in the fishing arena, um, but there are some that I do. So uh, Kristen Fisher, Alex Rudd, uh, those two jump right to the forefront of my brain. I watch their content all the time. I, I, I love their content, especially Alex. Um, I have learned, not not having fished for bass prior to this past year and coming from a background that's predominantly saltwater, I did not really know anything about bass fishing. And Alex taught me a lot in a way that was very genuine and very wholesome. And so there are these incredible kayak anglers uh, that I do follow. But something I'm noticing as I get more and more into the, the kayak tournaments and where I'm kind of trying to go with my thought process is what it's doing to the sport. So what is kayak tournaments doing to the sport? Let me uh, elaborate on that some. It's becoming too much like professional bass fishing. Kayaks are, are wrapped. Everybody's covered in sponsors. Their jerseys are covered in sponsors. The fees for entering tournaments are getting bigger. The tournament sizes are getting bigger. The frequency is increasing. And most importantly, above all, it's getting a little cutthroat. It's getting a little too much like professional, pro professional, professional, professional. See how worked up I get? It's getting a little too much like professional bass fishing. And I don't like it. Now, you might be, if you're one of my, <laughs> one of my regulars here, you're like, but you've got sponsors, Steve. And I do. I have sponsors. Shout out to uh, Solar Bat Sunglasses and FX Extreme Custom Rods. The point that I'm making is I have sponsors. I like my sponsors. But kayak fishing for me is not about the tournaments. It's not about cash and checks. It's not about having your name in the lights. It's about going fishing and doing what I love and documenting it for my channel and taking you guys along with me. I think that mentally I started to kind of get away from that. I kind of got away from my purpose. And what I mean by that is I was fishing. I fished more last year than any other year, and I'll hopefully fish more this year than last year. But even when I was just out on the water, just fishing, not at an event, I was in these monthly tournaments, these monthly onlines, which are a great way to compete over the course of a month and not feel as pressured. But y'all, I'm a little obsessive. So like every time I'm out, I'm competing. Every time I'm on the water, I'm competing. Every time I'm catching a fish, I need, I, I need it to be bigger. I need it to be this. And I didn't even realize how consumed I was getting by kayak tournament fishing. So the point that I'm making here is that kayak tournaments are slowly going from something that started out as groups of friends competing against each other, people that wanted to compete in bass tournaments but didn't have the bass boat, they wanted to do it in their little piece of Tupperware, like everyone watching this video probably does, but it's growing into something else, okay? It's getting ruined. What are we gonna do about it? Well, I don't know what you're gonna do about it, but I know what I'm gonna do about it, and if enough of you join me, in my new mindset, well, I think maybe we can do something. So the reason that my upcoming tournament is important this Saturday is I've kind of, like I said before, I've kind of had this mindset the last couple of weeks where I felt myself withdrawing from events. And this one, I was gonna be in Lake of the Ozarks anyway. I'm going fishing with uh, Christian and Cray. Christian and Cray. I'm going fishing with Trey and Christian and Trey was like, hey, there's a Moyak event that day and we're entering it because that that's just how he is. He knows if he gives me an option, I'll just be like, I'll take whichever one is contrarian. So <laughs> we're fish or competing in it. But what I caught myself doing, uh, not yesterday, the day before, I started getting things ready, which is perfectly fine. I started going through the kayak. I started going over the trailer. I started going over my rods, charging batteries. And somewhere during the course of that process, I found myself, actually let me back up. So a couple of days ago, before what I was just describing, I started pushing myself more towards a lightweight approach this year. 
I'm carrying a ton of tackle and stuff I'm just never going to use. Stuff that doesn't fit my style. Stuff that was in my kayak for the entire 2023 season that literally never saw a drop of water except for when I flipped the kayak. Okay, Never got tied onto a fishing line. Never going to use it. I have a specific style and those didn't match it. So I started purging things like crazy. And I probably took 60 pounds, if not more, out of my kayak through that purge. But now back to what I was saying, as I was getting my stuff ready for this event, I found myself putting things back in the kayak that I had taken out. And I had to have a moment of introspection. I said, why am I doing that? Well, the answer is very simple. The competitive part of me was seeping in and being like, you mentally, subconsciously, you can't lose. You have to win. You have to place. If this isn't working, you have to have this and blah, 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 blah. And I looked at myself and I said, Steve, stop. Okay. Reset. What is our goal for 2024? I'm just going fishing. That's it. Whether I'm in a tournament, whether I'm just, I've got an hour I can go and I'm, I'm pulling the kayak out of the garage. It doesn't matter where I am, what I'm doing, or whether or not it counts for something. I'm just going fishing. I don't care where I place. I don't care if I win money. I want to go fishing with my friends. I want to meet new people, make new friends, and just help grow and support kayak fishing. I'm going fishing. I don't care about the tournaments. Why is this important? Why should everybody try to adopt this mentality a little bit? As this sport grows, I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? As kayak anglers, we have always loved putting other people in kayaks. I'm all about growing the sport and building people up. But there are things it's doing to our sport that's ruining it. Um, people's attitudes are changing. Uh, the, the way people act towards each other is changing. People are becoming more closed off to other anglers because of what the competition is doing. But I think we're getting away from the point a little bit. Um, and I know for me, the culture of kayak fishing is really important. So I'm going to pull back a little bit on my obsessive nature because that's just how I am. Okay. I'm like, I'm like a German shepherd. Okay. I'm like a police canine and the bass and that, uh, pride and the placement and the attention is like a crackhead. Okay. And my handler is me. And there's, when I was in law enforcement, one of my I'm going to go sideways on this analogy a little bit, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry, but it, it has to happen because it's a funny story. When I was in law enforcement, there's a private investigator. His name is George Gerges, and I really doubt that he's watching this. But if you are, what's up, George? I haven't seen him in a long time. But George once described me to another of our, our friends, another officer. He said, Steve is like a police-trained canine shepherd. When he gets his eyes on something, the only thing that will stop him from getting that target, from obliterating that target, from just raining hell down upon whatever that goal is, the only thing that will stop Steve is the person holding the leash. And he said the greatest, the thing that we should be the most scared of is the person holding Steve's leash is Steve. <laughs> It's one of the, the favorite ways that I've ever been described. Competition, all that stuff, is like the crackhead. And I'm the only one holding my leash, okay? And last year, y'all, I dropped that leash. And I was obsessed, okay? My attention just went all towards this one thing. Gotta fish. Gotta be better. And previously, that attention was always on this channel, it was, I want to make better content. I want to have more followers. I want to build a life through and with and alongside this channel and all of you that enables me to go do other cool stuff. And so 
this is really a huge reality check for me. Um, I made a lot of great content last year. I made a lot of videos. I had fun, but I got a little obsessed. I was part of the problem. See, self-introspection. I was part of the problem, okay? And now I'm gonna be part of the solution and so are you. We have to do better, okay? So in 2024, I'm just going fishing. I'm taking my sponsors along with me. I'm taking y'all along with me. Most importantly, I'm taking myself along with me. I'm just going fishing, okay? And it's going to be phenomenal, okay? And if I win some events or cash some checks, well, hey, that's awesome. But you know what? I've got really, really big plans for 2024 that I'm hyper-focused on right now and making happen. And I can't make those things happen or make great content for all of you if I'm part of the problem and hyper-focused on the kayak fishing tournaments. So am I going to fish less tournaments this year? <clears throat> no. I'm actually going to fish more. But I'm going to care a lot less about how it ends at the end of the day. Okay, I'm going to pay the fee and get my kayak and just go fishing. And I think that you will actually see a higher level of success from me with that because I do my best work when I'm not working. I actually think that just going fishing is going to make me one wicked ass bass angler. And I'm really excited to take you guys along for the ride. And I hope that this vlog, I hope you stayed tuned with me. I hope that you're still here. I hope that it helped maybe reset your mind also. And if you don't disagree with me, that's fine. Um, whether you agree or disagree, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Um, give me your feedback, hit that subscribe button. But y'all, I'm just going fishing this year and uh, I'm really excited to take you along with me. So with that, don't forget as you go out into the world today, do your best to try and make someone smile, okay? Because you might actually be the only person that does.